Hello, welcome to Jam with the Stars. In today's episode, I'm going to be playing with Yvette Young. Oh yeah, we're going to be collabing with her. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I have another phone and I'm going to be playing her Palim Sasat excerpt from her YouTube channel and I'm just going to loop it and as she's playing, I'm going to jam on my uh, Yamaha CG40 classical guitar and we're going to see what uh, what tunes I come up with with all my years of experience as a guitarist. Now, I have spent uh, 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 about two days, two, three days, uh, writing out the tablature for the, the song. And uh, after I have uh, typed it all out, I will put it in the description. But I won't be sight reading the tablature because I don't sight read. Uh, I only sight read chords. So the, the tablature is just for you guys uh, that, um, that I know will be requesting tablature for her song. It's just, it's not her, it's not her full song. It's just her excerpt from the song. So it's just a one minute and 20 second excerpt. And um, because, um, because um, she plays at a very high level. I haven't reached that level yet. So I won't be able to play like her, but I will be able to use my church music and try to accompany her as she's uh, playing her, her song on uh, my earphones. I will be playing my guitar and recording it for you guys to listen to um, just to see what um, you know whether I make a fool of myself whether I become a flop or whether I can actually you know jam with the star Yvette Young yes this is as close as I'll ever get to her and she probably will never hear this song but you guys you my fans will be able to hear it because you love my music so for those uh, for so without further ado uh, it's already 2 minutes and 30 seconds into the the, the video Let's start her the loop of Yvette Young's Palim Sasset excerpt. Oh yeah. This is floppy. Going to three, two, one. The first loop, here we go, second loop. Yeah. 
Group Three. Loop. The song is in C sharp.
Thanks, Loop.
like here next. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
next. It 
was just a time for me. It was just a little. It was time for me to get off my ass and do something about it, 'cause I want to spend my life with her. La 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 la. Next. Oh, okay. Okay, so the recording cut out because I accidentally stopped the recording. In this second part, I'm going to try and with the chords. I got the chords right in front of me. I'm just going to try and play something. You know, whatever comes to mind. You know, just to after doing a 30 minute session with Yvette Young, let's see what. Tune I come up with that you know sounds like it. So. Let's try it again. Let's see what I come up with uh, next time.
see what I can do with um, the third thing. Let's see. Let's 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 brainstorm some some super duper thing. Oh yeah. Obviously, after you've heard all of this, um, I still couldn't do anything great with it. Yvette Young's song is still um, beautiful and, and amazing and, and, you know, even with all my church music training, I couldn't do anything much with it. Um, I mean, if it had words to the song, I could, you know, I'm like I'm a Wonderwall guy. I I, I play. <laughs> I'm a Wonderwall uh, guitarist, so you know, I, I like all songs can be just sung with Wonderwall, right? <laughs> so um, this Palenza set is a beautiful song. It's a, it's been a, a hard um. It's been a it's been a while since I heard an acoustic uh, cover. I mean, an acoustic song from Yvette, um, um, and and it was really good. And you know, she didn't do any tapping. You know, she just played it like you know, like you know. There's uh, there's two guitarists I admire, Eric Johnson. You know, I used to listen to all to all his like I admire him, and obviously the second one is Yvette Young. Because she plays like Eric Johnson, you know, she she has that style. So I I like these two guitarists, and I focus well. I I uh, if I was to recommend guitarists to other people, I would recommend Eric Johnson and Yvette Young. And for bass players, I would recommend um Charles Berthoud, Berthoud, Charles Berthoud, and also Davy Five Four Four. If you don't like Davy Five Four Four. And if you don't like Charles Bertut, I don't think the bass is for you. You know, the bass instrument is not for you. But anyway, so this is um, Jam with the Stars. And, um, you know, I feel like I can do this until morning. Uh, you know, like, a, like, you know, those gamers? You know those gamers that, that like, like uh, uh, Valkyrie? Valkyrie, I watch, I watch her videos, but not her Among Us videos. Her Among Us videos are... I, I don't like the game. I don't like Among Us. It's like a it's like a it's like a mental uh, game where you meet people and you lie and and you know you I mean maybe it's fun for some people to watch but you know I had more fun watching her do a Reddit recap. You know she did a, a live Reddit recap and that was so interesting content from her because even Davy five four four has a session has a has a series on his uh, live on his uh, reddit his subreddit page so i was suggesting to valkyrie why don't your editors you know uh, cut out the the, the 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 good portions of the 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 her live reddit recaps and put it in her videos you know because all her among us videos i never watch honestly it's like like total crap to watch for me for me i mean other people want to spend hours watching her play that stupid among us game 
go ahead. You know, you want to waste your, your, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I just don't like, it's Among Us is just not for me. I mean, if she was playing like um, League of Legends or, uh, you know, I keep asking her to play Legends of Runeterra, but I know what she will say. This game is so stressful, she will say. This game is so stressful. But you know, I, I watch like Mega Mogwai. If you go to YouTube, you, you can search for Miguel Guerrero. He is Mega Mogwai. And I watch his uh, videos on Legends of Runeterra. It's a card game, if you didn't know. So, um, uh, yeah, you, you're watching uh, Jam with the Stars. And um, on this session, uh, I'm jamming with Yvette Young. I've already jammed with her for, for half an hour. And um, I couldn't do very much with it. Because um, her, her music is already self-contained. Uh, I couldn't um, make new things out of it. Or, you know, I, 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 I just couldn't find anything. I mean, the song is beautiful on its own. It's like a, it's like a beautiful picture. That you look at and when I try to accompany her and jam with her I'm just I feel like I cannot be the lead you know what I mean I, 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 I like she's the lead and I have to just accompany her like play a bass part or a drum part or something you know uh, you know leave a like tap the like button if you like this sort of content but really i i, I wouldn't do this content for 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 any guitar or for any player mainly i just wanted to to have um i wanted to jam with yvette young because i i really couldn't play her palem set i know it's a it's, it looks it looks very easy and i took hours tabbing it out but i don't sight read my tabs and uh, I mean, I, I wish I could play like that, but, you know, uh, God only gave me this gift, and I just have to live with it. I mean, I'm not unhappy with the way I'm playing. I can play lots of other songs that, that she can't play, because I'm using standard tuning. But I'm using baritone tuning. I'm using baritone tuning, which is B, B, which is B, E, A. D, G flat, and B. Basically, I just tuned the, the guitar five notes down. The reason I did this was because I wanted more bass in the, 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 the guitar. And, and you know, the, 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 the normal tuning, which is E, A, D, G, B, E, which is, sounds like this, just didn't have enough bass. You see, this is the bass. But if I tune it five notes down, it sounds like this. Oh, yeah. That's bass, all right? See, really nice and low bass. And the second reason I, I tuned it five notes down was because I, I, I needed to save my strings. My classical strings, over here in the place where I'm living, you cannot buy individual classical strings. You can only buy the whole pack. So if I break one of the strings, I have to buy the entire pack. So I, I, I started with tuning it two notes down. and I, But then I started thinking, there must be some standard. There must be some standard that I can, uh, you know, tune the guitar to that is, you know, written. And I found baritone. I no, I found a bass guitar. A five-string bass guitar was tuned B E A D G B, but the G, the B E A D G, the G didn't uh, go five notes down from the 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 standard tuning. So I decided to make it G flat. Which makes it five notes down. So B E B E A D G flat B, and it sounded great. And I've been using this uh, tuning for uh, over five years already, and my strings haven't broken even once. You know, I, I mean, 
I mean, look, I'm not a professional player. I don't need to change my strings every every few um, months or whatever just to sound good. Because look, this is this is the sound of five years. Sounds good, right? Even if the strings are old. It's a bass guitar. I would call it a bass guitar because it's got bass. But I know Davy Five Four Four will say, "Uh, you know, he I, I've been a convert from Davy Five Four Four. I mean, he says that this is a six string bass, and I say, yeah, it's a six string bass. All right, if you tune it five notes down, it becomes a six string bass because this is standard bass baritone tuning." You know, if you play if you play a, a bass guitar with five strings, it's going to be B E A D G B E A D G. You know, but this is G flat lah. It'll sound like this. Yeah, but I tuned it this half a note down. Anyway, that's great. So um, you know, I'm just going to ramble on. I'm just going to see when I get tired because, uh, when I get tired, I will stop this uh, recording. So. You know, you can go to sleep now if you want. But um, I feel like I should continue jamming. Because um, I want to see how uh, this... Uh, no, I just I just don't feel... Um, I just don't feel... I feel like I'm doing a, a gaming session. You know, like, like Valkyrie is doing um, a, a gaming session. And... Valkyrie is doing a gaming session and she does it for like five hours, right? She Valkyrie does a, a gaming session like for five hours, so I plan to do this for five hours, maybe. Maybe I plan to do this for five hours. I don't know. Mm. I mean, I have my loyal followers on on YouTube, you know. You know, <clears throat> I started this YouTube channel nine years ago. I got lots of views. Well, not that, not not over a hundred thousand. I got like forty three thousand for some views. But now there's so much content on YouTube that my music just gets lost. You know, it just gets lost. So I, I I hardly get very many views. But you know, I have my loyal followers who follow me around, my stalkers or whatever. You know, who like my music. Okay, so we know that uh, Yvette played that uh, Palemsa set in C sharp, right? But I'm just going to play it in A, which is D on. Uh, on this um, guitar I'm just going to show off uh, and see whether I come up with anything new I know I'm probably not not helping her song because her song is great her palimpsa set is, is perfect already she, had, she played the violin with it it's like a self-contained song it doesn't need anything more but I feel like you know I mean it would do me really if I could play like her I would play it for you right now and I would, I mean, and I would look so good. But I, 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 I have to just use what God has given me. You know, it, it will take me a long time to be like Yvette because Yvette had a, a a certain way she trained herself in the in at her childhood, and um, I, I, I did a different thing. You know. So let's let's just uh, so I'm just looking at her chords and I'm just going to come up with some tune. So basically, what you're listening to is a podcast. 
of uh, Jam with the Stars. You know, it's a podcast. So, you know, I can say whatever I want. You know, only the people that have listened to me this far will be able to hear me talk about this. Because, but, because the first half of the video, they will just listen to me jam and they won't know I'm talking at the end of this, uh, in the middle of this video. So, let's just play this in A. So, instead of C sharp, we'll just play it in the standard A. That way I can just play it in open, you know, in open B, E, A, D, G flat B. But uh, here's the thing. The B, E, A, D, G flat B can be done on a classical guitar. If you have a classical guitar and you don't know what brand to buy, you just buy a Yamaha made in Indonesia guitar. And if you don't know what piano to buy, you also buy a Yamaha piano. Because why? It's the cheapest and the best sounding uh, instrument you'll ever get for a piano. Don't buy a Kawai piano. Um... From my experience, the kawaii piano, the, the, the keys are difficult to press, they're hard to press, and I don't know, the sound doesn't sound as good as a Yamaha piano. Like my church has a Yamaha piano, and then they switched to a kawaii piano, but then they realized something, maybe the sound wasn't good, so they moved it to the, the parish hall, and they put another Yamaha piano for the church. And I go to church, Saturdays when I'm playing table tennis and, you know, I, I play the piano when nobody's there. You know, when there's table tennis and, you know, our two tables are filled up. Okay. So I, 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 I don't want to just sit around doing nothing. So I just play the piano because it's, it's open on Saturdays. So, uh, yeah. So if you don't know what a guitar to get, get a Yamaha guitar for classical. And if you don't know what piano to get, get a Yamaha piano. Other brands for pianos that you can look out for are Steinway and Sons, which um, um, which um, I can't I I I've forgotten her name already, but uh, there's this um, uh, there's this classical g uh piano girl that I watch on YouTube, um. She has her own like like uh, uh, classical with with me or something like that. Uh, classical with me. Um, I I forget her name, but um, together with classical. That's it. She has a, a series called Together with Classical, and she uses a Steinway and and Sons piano. And she's a classical uh, musician. I just forget her name. But when I go to YouTube, I just search for Together with Classical and I'll find her already. She has uh, like two YouTube channels for one for her normal vlogs and one for Together with Classical. So um, if I remember her name, I'll, I'll mention it. But if not, um, um, yeah, I probably won't remember it. Anyway, um, so, so yeah, so Yamaha pianos are good. Steinway and Sons pianos are good. Stay away from uh, Kawaii pianos, um, from my experience. And I've also used a Borgendorf piano before in Australia, and that was really awesome sound. So Borgendorf is another one I would uh, recommend. So just these three pianos. And um, uh, yeah, so but for acoustic guitars, I don't know if you can use the baritone B E A D G flat B. I know classical guitars is easy, but baritone, but uh, acoustic guitars you have something called a nut. Is it a nut? You have to use a, a Allen key to to tune the strings, right? And you have to have different gauges for strings. You see, it's so complicated with acoustic guitars because you have all these gauges for strings and uh, you know you have to pick the right string uh, otherwise you have to tune the the you have to tune the nut with your allen key oh, i'm just glad my grandma bought me a yamaha guitar you know why because my fingers are stubby my fingers are stubby so the the, the classical guitar the neck of the classical guitar is wide so my fingers can press all the strings properly if I had an acoustic guitar, and I do have an acoustic guitar here that somebody gave to me, I never use it because the neck is small and my fingers have to be crushed together just to play A. 
I so you know I know Yvette uses a Yvette Young actually started with a classical guitar if you look at her doodles video on YouTube then she moved on to an uh, acoustic guitar I think because of tapping you can't really tap on a classical guitar you see you can't really tap on a classical guitar so maybe that's why she moved to an acoustic guitar but she started off with a classical guitar anyway so I was pretty happy that she actually played a classical guitar so anyway um, let's get back to the music eh? so this is going to be an A and we're just going to follow the chords of Palem Passet, uh, Palem Sasset uh, and try to, to, to you know just like like uh, like um, the bathroom girl uh, Cherry Lee. She doesn't post anymore, but when she did post, she 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 had videos that were called flow videos. Flow means she just based on her feelings and her emotions, she just flowed with the music and just um played a song. You know, whatever came to her mind. And I do that, you know. I hardly write songs. The way I write songs is I, I have a tune and then I just sing the words that come out of my mouth and I just play the guitar with it. And that becomes a song already. Obviously, I can't really sell the music because um, I mean I can sell it. Uh, I I have to get down to actually selling it. But right now, um, right now I'm just a I'm just a musician in in a band, you know, and a musician in church sort of thing like. So anyway, thanks for joining me on the podcast called Jam with the Stars. Today we're jamming with Yvette Young and her song Palam Saset. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I cannot play the way she is playing. I really wish I could sight read my, my tabs, but it will, it will take me too long to, to sight read. I don't even sight read piano notes because it took me ages just to read just a short passage. I know some people can do that, but I just play by ear. But even when I can play by ear, I still can't play the simple. It's a simple song that uh, that Yvette Young did. But she plays it so intricately. Like, you know, if you look at the, the tabs, she plays even the, the, the plucking, just the, the, the repeated plucking. It's not just the same. She changes it around, you know, to make it a different sounding. Like, she skips the bass. She, she skips the bass it's good I mean I, I really enjoyed it she 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 incorporated bass and she incorporated treble and melody all in in one package and and um, even though she didn't tap it sounded great I mean you know it sounded great you know I mean Eric Johnson didn't need tapping uh, he he just played the guitar really well. Mm-hmm. And uh, Yvette Young is following. I mean, she's 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 a star in her own right. And you know what? I am glad. I am glad that I'm born when she's a, when Yvette Young is still alive. And even Eric Johnson is still alive, right? I was also born when Michael Jackson was still alive. I mean, yeah. But you know, I didn't get to meet them. But you know, I can say I was born in their generation, right? Oh yeah, so Jam with the Stars, thank you for joining us on this podcast. Um, it's my first podcast, I, I just want to see whether I get any views for this. If I don't get any views for this, I, I probably won't do it again. Nah, I, I'll probably do it again. But I haven't done this podcast in nine whole years. Because, um, I mean, I have a lot to say, but... The reason I'm doing this podcast for Palim Saset is because I got not I got no other content <laughs> to put out because I I really wanted to do this song I really wanted to do this song but it would take me too long to learn it and I don't have enough motivation to learn it also I mean like I did some of her her other work like parachute I did four or five takes of parachute with different styles and different things. Um, I did one of farewell. I did two of doodles 
mashed up with uh, Aubrey of Braid. But I got very little views for all of them, except for the farewell, because nobody was doing farewell. I got 67 views, if that counts for anything, you know. But um, it doesn't matter. I mean, it may take me seven years before I get um, 2,000 views, for example. So, but you know, it, when, I, when I have new songs out, uh, I'm like a, it's like a new plant, right? I like to see, I like to watch it for the, the, the first week or two to see whether it grows. If it doesn't grow, I say, okay. But you know what? It, 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 took, it, took, me, it, took, me, uh, it took me a whole month before I, I, I knew that uh, Yvette released this Palem Saset. So I, I, I learned it. I, 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 I actually don't do tabs. But you know, if I do tabs enough, I, I'll... Okay, so, okay, let's, let's get down to the music, okay? Getting nowhere with this. Um, I'm I'm getting nowhere with this. Uh, you know, maybe I'll do another video of Palimpsest set when I'm more stable with it. But uh, maybe I'll do another video. The thing is, I normally just do my own stuff. Uh, I listen to music and I do my own stuff with it. I, I can't really follow whatever they have done. I know Yvette is, is a stickler for, for pre precision. Because, I mean, like if you're singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, every note has to be right to, for it to sound like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. If you make one note out, it doesn't sound like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star anymore. So that's why Yvette... Young, every note that she plays is is like it's like precision. You know what I mean? Every note is is carefully put like a star in the sky. Every note, and if you miss even one of the notes, she says "fuck." You know, <clears throat> you know, which means. It hurt her a lot that she missed even one note. So, you know, for me, I can't work with that. I need I need space to just make mistakes like jazz, you know. So... If I was to take that and um, make it into something different, it wouldn't be Palimpsest anymore, but it will be my own take on it. 
So if I was to do something, I would do. She was always there when I looked around. At a church, and she was in a coffin, and I was standing there looking at her, and I was thinking to myself, this was the only time I saw her. We never met until your funeral. Visit her to say I love her, and I miss all the times we were together, going to the beach. Oh, beautiful. Thank、you
Jamming with the stars, jamming with Yvette Young today. Um, um, did I make any good songs on the 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 the, the podcast? It's just a podcast sort of thing. I'm just trying it out for the first time, and uh, uh, it's going to be long for you know why? Because I want it to be long. I just want it to be long. We're going to see. Any other ideas? I mean, like you know, I'm I'm probably running on empty right now, you know. I'm probably I'm probably running on empty right now, um, with ideas for ways to use the the different chords that she has put. Um, her 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 art is already perfect and beautiful as it is. Um, I can either imitate it completely. But I think she already did that. She already Im- she already did it as perfect as she can, and um, I can only do covers of variations of what she did, you know, and try and see if any of them are good. So basically, this is the process I go through. I've done a, a number of takes already on this um on this podcast, so you can actually see the process I go through, 
as a musician, if I'm you know making songs for my YouTube channel, um, I don't earn any money from YouTube because um, even if I had a lot of viewers, I don't think I I would know how to to manage the monetary thing. But um, you know when I die. And you know we all are going to die. We're not in, going to live infinitely. When we die, I get to leave behind all my music on YouTube for people to view. When I've passed away, it's something I leave behind, and it's free, and you don't have to pay for it. You know, I keep wanting to put music on Bandcamp to earn some money, but you know, seeing how little views I get on YouTube makes me think. Is it worth the effort to to put it on Bandcamp? I mean, yeah, I I, I my original songs I plan to put them on YouTube on Bandcamp, and try and earn some money that way, you know. But you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's something down the pipeline when I when I get the when I feel motivated to do do it. Uh. Uh, yeah. So I did a bit of jingle just now. Jingle uh, basically is glossolalia. I just wanted, uh, you know, glossolalia just sounds long. Well, it wasn't glossolalia, was it? No, it was. It was me just singing a few tunes. I mean, singing a few notes. Um, but I I call it jingle for gibberish and lingo, becomes jingo. You know, it's like Davy Five Four Four would be saying, "Good and cool, it's ghoul." You know, <laughs> whatever. You know what? You we we can make new words for our channels. You know, I can say jingo and he can say ghoul. Yeah, whatever. I mean, like, would you rather say glossolalia or would you rather say jingo? But obviously, jingo is a, a an English word already with a meaning. So, whatever. I mean, ghoul doesn't have a meaning, so he, so I guess Davy five four four got it right there. You know, he he had a, he made a new word, whereas I already ha, um, jingle already is a word. Anyway, <sighs> this podcast, well, I I I don't know if I'm gonna post it. Uh, but you know, I, I I'll see how many views I get, and if I get more views on this, I might do a second podcast in the future. But if I get very low views, ah, we'll see how it goes anyway. So, uh, you know, Yvette Young would say, uh, "Let's get down to the music" or something like that, and you know, people would be excited to hear it. But when I say, "All right, I'm gonna sing you another song," uh, I don't want to hear you say, uh, "Your voice sounds like um, me menstruating in the toilet," something like that, or you know, your voice sounds. I know I can't sing because you know why? I don't practice my singing. Why? Because I breathe through my mouth, right? So all wind instruments, including my vocals, I have to breathe and I have to sing, you know. So I get air in my stomach, right? So and then I burp. So you know, for people that breathe through their mouth, this is what they go through. They might not be singers, sort of thing. They normally breathe through their nose, but. I find like I don't get enough oxygen when I breathe through my nose, so I have to breathe through my mouth. So I don't practice any of my singing because it interferes with my breathing. So that's why I don't sing well because I don't practice my singing. If I did practice my singing, I would sound better. But uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I mean, if you've if you've come this far into the video, I mean the the podcast, uh, great. Uh, you probably won't hear me do another podcast again. Maybe I don't know. But this is like you know, this is like Valkyrie, 
doing her live videos for five hours and yeah you know i don't know who watches videos for five hours like they have so much time on their hands you know but mainly 10 minutes like you know what davy 544 does a 10 minute video would be su sufficient you know what i mean and yeah valkyrie is a gamer i watch her when she's not playing that stupid among us game you know ugh, i know people watch her playing among us and think it's great but I think it's just a stupid f fucked up game that people shouldn't be playing I, you know ugh. maybe it helps people to 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 come together like PewDiePie with Valkyrie she wouldn't have met PewDiePie if, if he wasn't on on uh, among us oh my god I mean, I mean I will I you know what if Valkyrie was playing Legends of Runeterra an intelligent strategy card game i would be watching her for one hour you know like mega mock y he, he does one hour videos right i would watch her for one whole hour of my life but her doing among us okay i'm i'm, I'm going off track this is about yvette young here not about valkyrie but it's a podcast i can do whatever i want no one's going to watch my my podcast this long but you know, I may take it down if I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I may not even post this, you know, I, I did one po podcast before, I didn't post it because I keep rambling on and rambling on and I'm rambling on even now, you know. <clears throat> you see, I just burped because you know why? I talk and talk and talk, the air gets into my stomach and I burp. <clears throat> you see? Do you see? This is why I don't sing. If you're wondering why I don't sing and my, my voice sounds like like a cat. You like like uh, I'm not, I, I, I I've I've read all the hate comments on my YouTube channel. Uh, you're gonna get a few haters, but look, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm gonna leave my music on YouTube for the next generation to listen to. That's the only reason I'm I'm really doing YouTube. Well, not only that, I, I need a place to record my music. You know, like um, some of my old songs, I, I don't know where they are now, but I can hear them on YouTube, you see? Because I've, I've posted them nine years ago. I actually posted a lot of original songs, but, but I took them all down. Uh, something. I don't know, I may, I may start to post original songs again um okay so basically this this uh palimpsest set i don't know i think it's a bust it's a flop i i couldn't i couldn't do anything with the song you know i i could do a lot with the the parachute song because i could sing with it and and come up with my own stuff but when it comes to this it's like a piece of classical music you know, Palimpsest is like a piece of classical music. You're supposed to play it like it is for it to sound good. And I'm trying to do, I'm trying to play classical music and improvise my own style, my own creativity, my own individuality. And yeah, I did, I did some takes, but you, you've heard it. It wasn't that good because... I didn't have any new ideas. I was running on empty and trying to, to come up with ideas. Uh, so this is the process. I mean, like, this is the process uh, musicians like me go through when they're trying to come up with covers for my songs. As you can see, the last song I did was uh, Katy Perry's... Um, uh, what is it? Part of me, right? I heard it on on that uh, Jewel Richie song, Jewel Richie's channel, and that Kaibi was singing it with her friends, on uh, you know surprising a, a co-worker, a construction worker. So when I heard it, I said, "Yeah, I want to cover that song." You know, and I did it. I covered it. I did it on take three, and I got like. 27 views 
for it in two days. So that's pretty good. Well, you know, pretty good in, for my videos. Um, and now I'm trying to do this palimpsest, and because I have no content for it, I decided to do a podcast and and post uh, the the thing, post uh, the video out. All right. So now I'm just rambling on. Okay. Um. All right. Um. This is part three of the the podcast. Uh, I just recorded for an hour, and um, I didn't take a short break. I just um. I I just wanted to to break up the the video. Um, all right. So in this session, um, I'm going to try again to make uh the video. I want to make this video long, so that you know people will see two hours or something, and they will say. I don't want to watch it for two hours. You know. Sort of thing, and this is—is is this what a podcast is? You know, I um, I can also teach you a bit of guitaring, I guess, right? Uh, but I guess you can. You get. I I guess a lot of YouTubers would have um, would have um. Videos like Charles Batute has a video up to say, how can you learn a musical instrument from beginner to pro, and he gives seven steps, right? So you can watch that video. He's already produced it professionally, and he gets thousands upon thousands of views. Um, but for my 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 loyal fans, um, here's what I can tell you. First, if you want to learn to play an instrument, you have to be tapping your foot to the beat. You have to tap your left foot to the beat. You know you have to move your body to the beat. You have to get the beat down first. Without the beat, you probably can't do music. You know you probably can't because music is all about beats. You know, you have to do the beat first. You have to use, you have to buy a cajon, and and you know, do the beat. You know, so、uh, the way I would teach a class, you know, I you know I the way I would teach a class is, you know, there's this video on YouTube called Jeet Kune Do Footwork, right? Jeet Kune Do Footwork. Basically, it teaches you how to move like Bruce Lee. In Jeet Kune Do, so basically in the class, I would teach them the footwork. Your right leg is in front, your right leg is flat on the ground, your left leg is behind your right leg, and it's on the ball of your foot, not the ball, the the heel of your, the heel, no, the ball, the ball of your foot, yeah, and it's and it's used like a spring, and then you want to move forward. You move your right leg forward, then your left leg follows. You want to move backward, you move your left leg, and then your right leg follows. So basically, I was going to get my students to move to the beat. I was going to have a song play in the background, and I would say forwards, backwards, left, right, and they would move with a jit kundo footwork, forwards, backwards, left, and right, and we would do it for the whole song. Forwards, backwards, left, right, and they would learn how to do a jeet kune do footwork together with moving to the beat of the song. Right. So first, you have to know the beat. Forward, back, left, right. Forward, back, left, right. Forward. If we do the palimpsest set, it would sound like this: forward, back, left, right, forward, back, left, right, forward, back, left, right. Well, maybe I 
got it wrong in the beats. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. So I would say forward. it up Ugh. forward back left right no no I'm, 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 uh, I'm messing it up again okay so okay let's let's do one the wall Palimpsa set chords. Um, it wasn't perfect, but that's how you get them. I would basically play the song uh, on her 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 YouTube channel, and then I would get my students to go forwards, back, left, and right, and that that will help them to train up in Jeet Kundo footwork, or it would just give them some footwork lah, because you don't know any dance footwork, right? But you have the Jeet Kune Do footwork of moving forwards, back, left, and right. It will protect you for self defense, maybe. But it will also. But I haven't taught any of my students like this. But this is what I plan to do if I'm forced to, if I'm asked to teach music. So first, you need the beat. You need to have the beat. You need to tap your foot to the beat in the beginning so that you get the metronome thing going. So it's like, like you tap, 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 tap the foot, tap the left foot. Tap the left foot, tap the left foot to the beat of a, a song, you know, and then, you know, uh, what Charles Batut is saying is also right. Once you get an instrument, and you, you then you have to, you know, play something on it, right? So you pick your favorite songs, you pick whatever favorite song you want to to learn, and you start to um. You start to to play it. You 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 buy tablature or research it online. The tablature, or the chords, and then you start to play the favorite songs. That way, you start to love the songs. You know what I mean? So like um, um, uh, like when I was younger, uh, I wanted to learn to play more than words by Extreme. So I would do.
there was a book that I bought in Singapore. It was called Pop, Rock and Roll. Pop rock, pop rock, or something like pop rock, rock, rock and roll, or whatever. And it was volume one. And that was my first music book, and it had plucking. It had plucking on it, and my favorite song of that of all the songs in that one was, "Sometimes When We Touch." No, I think you know that song. Like, la 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 la. After you play your favorite songs, on the you see basically, if you were to teach, if you were to get your students、uh, an instrument, um, you would either get them a cajon, if you want to play drums because a drum set is too big. You want a cajon to play drums with so that you can go out and play with your friends with it. You can bring it on your back, and then open it up and set it up and play the 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 cajon. If you want to play a drums, okay lah, can also lah, but I would suggest buying a good cajon. Basically, the one the cajon that you should buy is the for from my own research is the Mona Tavakoli, um, something or other, uh, signature. Oh man, it's it's eluding me. It's the Mona Tavakoli, um, um.、Uh, Signature cajon. Otherwise, you can just get a a, a minor, minor, minor or something like that. Yeah, minors,、uh, artisan series.、Um, uh, you you should buy a good cajon. I bought my cajon for only two hundred dollars, but you know what? It sounds like crap. So you know what I have to do. I I play it on occasion, but it doesn't sound nice to practice on. So I just use it as a chair. I just use my cajon as a two hundred dollar wooden chair to sit on, because the sound doesn't sound good. You either buy the Mona Tavakoli, um, I don't know what it's called. The the Mona Tav Tavakoli, um, um, um. Cajon, or you get one of the Minels Artisan series ones, handmade cajons. I know they're a bit expensive, but would you rather pay two hundred dollars and get a cheap cajon like me and never play it, or would you rather play a good cajon, and always play it? You know, you can bring it to your friend's house and jam. Yeah, and that's the next part. For me, when I started, uh, when I started this、uh, journey of music. I. I went to a youth camp, a Christian youth camp, and I saw the guitarist playing, with the projector, the chords and the lyrics are on the screen for us to sing to, in the youth camp. I wanted to be up there playing the guitar with the rest of them. You know, I really wanted to 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 play up there. And my grandma surprised me with a guitar when I was fourteen years old. I didn't ask her for a guitar. She she just surprised me. And you know what? 
that was the start of my journey. I, I'm still using the guitar that she gave me even up to this date because uh, sentimental value and also because I have a lot of memories on this guitar. Like there's a lot of energy from all the youth camps that I've played in, from all the Christian um, um, uh, clubs that I've played in and the church. There's so much history and um, energy that is soaked into the wood of this um, this uh, into of this guitar. So it has a lot of power, you know what I mean? A lot of um, a lot of uh, energy, a lot of memories, and it's all just stored in this old guitar that is like a vintage sort of thing. It's just a Yamaha CG40. It doesn't even have a cutaway and it doesn't have an, uh, a plug-in for an amp. But, you know, um, um, I use, I, I don't, I, 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 I play it. I, I record YouTube music on it. I play, I play for my, um, my Bible study group with my guitar. So, Mona Tavakali's, uh, can't remember what it is now. And the Minor Artisan series. So, um, yeah, so what I was saying is, if you want to get a, your kid an instrument, you either get them a cajon, if they like drums, you get them a guitar, if they want to play in a band, you get, but the most common instrument is obviously a piano. Um, I wouldn't suggest getting them a keyboard for me lah. I mean, I have a keyboard at home, but I never play it because you know why? It doesn't sound like a piano. If you want to sound like a piano, you buy a piano, not a bloody keyboard that doesn't even sound like a piano. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean... Oh, uh, now I remember her name. It's Tiffany Poon. She's the classical guitarist. I mean, the classical pianist I was watching on YouTube. Tiffany Poon. You can you can check her out on YouTube. She has uh, so many vlogs about her life as a classical a pianist. And she doesn't use a keyboard. She uses a Steinway and Sons piano. Why? Because it sounds like a bloody piano, not a bloody keyboard that she can carry around with her everywhere. No, her apartment has a real piano. Okay, so that should tell you, forget about keyboards and just buy a real piano. If you don't know what piano to buy, just get a cheap Yamaha piano for $6,000. An upright piano, you know. So, piano, guitar, cajon. The next, uh, the other instruments that you can also choose is violin, cello, and um, if you want a blowing instrument, you pick any of the blowing instruments really. Um, saxophone is the best because um, it sounds good. You can be like Kenny G. Um, saxophones. I don't know if you want to play flute um, it's also okay uh, please don't play a recorder I, I've bought so many recorders in my time but uh, it's it's not a nice instrument to, to, to play it's just it's cheap but it's a recorder right rather just spend your time playing a saxophone or a flute or a trumpet or a trombone but I think the best instrument is probably just the saxophone there's different types of saxophones alto saxophones soprano saxophones like Henny G's and I think the saxophone is the best but you know what you know it's even better than the the, the wind instruments your voice your vocals are the best instruments for your voice if you don't breathe through your mouth like me then you know vocal you you can sing basically you can either be a singer or you can be a beatboxer if you can't sing like me 
you 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 will automatically be a rapper. You know what I mean? Uh, rappers don't need to to sing well. They just need to 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 say words really succinctly and fast. Right? So that's what a rapper is. I mean like you look at the rappers, they don't sing, they but they can they can say words succinctly and fast and in a in a in a in a in a melodic way. You know? So if you can't sing, you just be a rapper. Sort of thing. But I don't rap also. Even though I can't sing, I I don't rap. Because you have to be fast at it, I guess. I can rap slow. Anyway. Um so what was I saying? Yeah. You know what I was practicing? I was practicing making my vocals into a saxophone or a violin. You ever thought about that? So basically I was going something like if I was a violin I would go Okay, that's a violin. Now, if you were to make your voice into a saxophone, it would sound like... So if you can't afford to buy a saxophone or a violin, you can just use your voice to make the sounds of a violin or saxophone. What else can you do with your voice? Beatboxing, right? I know a lot of people like beatboxing. So you can just watch some YouTube videos on it. I can't teach you beatboxing. I mean, like I can basically what I can do is... And what else can you do with your voice? You can do um pa po pe po pa pa po pa 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 pe pa pa ti pa po pe po pa pa do pa 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 pe pa pa ti pa po pe po pa pa do pa po pe po pa pa do pa po pe po pa pa do pa 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 ti so what's that that's scatting if you if you there was a guy called scatman i can't remember his name but that's scatting you can do scatting you can also do um uh, you can also do um uh you can also do um uh well you can also do glossolalia or speaking in tongues 
uh, or jingo, which I, I like to call jingo, right? Gibberish lingo. So basically, um, you just say whatever is on your mind. Uh, you know, it's like simlish, you know, like the sims. You have the sims and you have um, the, their way of talking. Like, oh, 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 oh. Right, so you 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 just um like uh, if I was to do jingo, I have a few videos on jingo on my my channel. I hardly get any views on it, but if I was to do um jingo of um, palem Sasset, how would it go? First, I have to get the beat right. I I, I think I tried to do it just now. So that was a jingle of Palem Sasset. It wasn't perfect, but you know, jingles have to be spontaneous. They have to be you can basically say anything you want. You can mix different languages like Korean, Japanese, Chinese and you know, whatever comes to your mind. You can mix Spanish and and all the different languages of the world. Whatever sounds good, you can just mix it all up. In, in a blender and and you know produce some new language that comes out you know so you heard me singing like an aboriginal singer or something like that maybe and that was the, the way it came out if I was to do the the jingle so um, so what else uh, you learn cajon piano guitar these are the three instruments I focus on and then after that, you can focus on tambourine. Um, you can focus on flute, saxophone, trumpet. Um, and then you have the other instruments like guitar and bass, right? You, you, you should, yeah, guitar and bass. So um, yeah, so once you get an instrument, you can start to play in a band. That's what um. That's what uh, Charles Bertout also says. You have to learn to play in a band so that you know how to interact with other people and play with them. Basically, I, I played in youth camps. I played in my um, Christian fellowship in my school. I played in church. So I played in a band, you know, to get used to playing with other people. So if for you, you might just want to have a few friends or you could go to a Christian um church and try and join uh, a youth um, uh, club and bring your guitar or cajon mostly it's going to be guitar or cajon because you can't bring a, uh, a a piano obviously you either bring your cajon or your guitar and then you just jam with them or you bring your your your, your violin or something that's portable lah. 
uh, you could also I know I, I know a friend that also has a keyboard. He's also a pianist. So I guess I mean like if you if you if you buy a good keyboard that actually sounds like a real piano, you know then okay yeah you can you can play a keyboard. But please, please don't waste your money on a stupid, cheap, lousy keyboard. Just buy a either a good keyboard like you do your research buy a Yamaha keyboard, which will cost you a thousand dollars. Or maybe even two thousand, or you can, which doesn't even need tuning. You know that's the advantage of using a keyboard. You don't need tuning. You have to buy a good piano a keyboard. I can't. I can only suggest Yamaha at this stage, but you know there are other brands. You have to you have to listen and see whether it sounds like a real piano. Then you can bring it in a bag, a hard case bag, and bring it to gigs. I mean, you know. Basically, the reason you want to learn music is you want to paint, in um, you want to paint acoustically, you want to paint sonically, you know, you're not painting with ink, you're painting with sounds, you know what I mean? You're painting with sounds. That's what Yvette Young says anyway. You you're painting with so you you it's sonic painting. That's what music is, sonic painting. And she's also an artist. So she paints, and she does sonic painting as well. There you go. So that shows how talented she is. Not many people can be a Yvette Young because she's been through a lot anyway, to to get to where she is. She's so focused on the thing. Is she's so focused on music. Uh, I mean, her guitar, that she's so good at it because she focused on it. For me, I focus on guitar, piano. I mean, she's also she's also focusing on guitar. Piano and the violin, right? So she focused on three instruments. So I guess if I was to suggest, I would suggest if you want to learn instruments, you can learn tr up to three instruments also. Like me, it's the cajon, the guitar, and the piano. She is the guitar, the violin, and the piano. So, I mean. Basically, I'm giving you. Uh, in this podcast, I'm just giving you. Uh, basically, I want to see how long I can talk, and um, give you information. I probably won't get um that many views, but you know. Like I said, I want to see how long I can make this video. Uh, so, um, when I reach another hour, I'm going to cut it again, and I'm just going to join it together later when I'm finished. So so far is um. So far is a uh, thirty three minutes, thirty three minutes on this um third uh cut um. Yeah. So um. All right. Let me teach you a bit of guitar. <clears throat> the reason I I um the reason I um you also need to work on your hearing, right? You need to you need to listen to a to um different music, 
well, you don't need to. It's up to you. You can listen to all sorts of music. Then you can um, know which music you like, and um, you can play songs like that. Okay, so um, okay, like when you're having a guitar, there's only two chords. Like you know, there's something called do re mi fa sol la ti do. Right, do re mi fa sol la ti do. So basically, it's right. You know about that, right? Do re mi fa sol la ti do. Basically, it's all the white keys on the keyboard. All the white keys are do re mi fa sol la ti do. If you start with C, if you start with C, it goes do re mi fa sol la ti do. Right. So basically, chords are chords also come in do re mi fa sol la ti do. So if I play G. G A minor B minor C D E minor F sharp minor G. So basically, I would tell my students to start learning either D, the do re mi fa sol la ti do for D, or I would start ask, uh, and I would also ask them to learn G, do re mi fa sol la ti do for G, because these are the two easiest chords. And then the very important thing that you need to buy is called a capo, C A P O. You need a capo because when you go to play for your um, play for people, like uh, in a like in a Bible study group or something, and you're 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 trying to play for people, you need a capo badly because you can't remember everything. So what you would do is you would listen. To how they are singing, you take one of the strings. For me, I would take either the first string or the second string, or I would take the bass string. One of these, and then I would listen to how they are singing, and then find the the root of where they are singing, the the starting note lah. You know what I mean? But basically, I I I use either the top string and the bottom string. For if I'm playing G, but if I want to play D, I would use the second string. So basically, if I want, if I use the second string, and I found the note to be here, right? I would put the capo on here and play D. There you go. I mean, look. If you stay in the do re mi fa sol la ti do, you know, and you just play only those notes, you will never go wrong. You can mix up do re mi fa sol la ti do in any order, and it will still sound like it's correct. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, um, so there's do re mi fa sol. So now, when they are when they are singing a song, I can just play, and then just you know if you just by ear, you 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 try and figure out what is the chord that you're singing. I mean, basically, if it's a very complex song, you will probably need a chord sheet. You know, you'll need to you need to Google the song up on your 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 phone to find the chords for it. But if it's a simple song, like um, we were both young. So there you go. So you can either play it in D or you can play it in G.
a capo is very important for a guitar. If you don't have a capo, uh, you're going to be severely limited in what you can do. Because the capo, because all you want to do in your lifetime for the for the begin for the beginning is to learn the do re mi for D and you learn the do re mi for G. Or um, yeah, I was put it on the fifth fret. You learn it for D and you learn it for G. Okay. So um, for me, I'm a like I said, I'm a wonder wall guy. There's different types of guitarists, but for me, all songs can sound like nice with wonder wall. repeats and repeats and repeats right all right um, if you are playing a guitar there's a few things that you you that I can teach you la. first in strumming basically you have to split the, 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 the strings up you can either play all the strings that's one you can split it in half top and bottom can split them in three that means top middle bottom basically you see I play D I play D I'm actually splitting the four strings that I'm playing D on into three parts I estimate where the three parts are like. Obviously the last one. So basically you can either strum all the strings, you can strum them in halves, I mean uh, top and bottom, you can split them into three parts, and the last one is you obviously play them individually. Um, if you want to know what pick to get, the one that I'm using is a Dunlop Tortex uh, pick. And I use the thinnest one, which is at uh, 0 0.88 millimeters from USA. The reason I use this pick is because it lasts very long. You know, I've used this pick for a long time and it doesn't wear out. Uh, so it's a um, Dunlop Tortex uh, Sharp USA. 0, uh, 0.88 millimeter green pick that's the one i'm using right now so if you want to get a pick so that's for strumming okay now let's say you want to learn lead guitaring right if you want to learn lead guitaring what you have to do is you have to go online and download the different places where your fingerings will fit like there, there are five different positions uh, there are five different positions to, to lay your fingers and um, um, you just basically slide from one pattern to another pattern to another pattern to another pattern right for example um, this is one pattern then I'm sliding it here I slide to uh, the second pattern so basically I've, I've labeled this as um, there's two there's two there's two ways I name it one I name it as uh, e double d a g e double d a g meaning it, it looks like an e and then goes to the double where the, the bottom and the top uh, the bottom and the middle strings are, uh, are double so it goes 
So it's either so the five um, the ones like Mixolydian, Ionian, Dorian, um, and two more, but I can't remember those names. So I just I just uh, label them E double D A G, or or E D B A G add back. Basically, the root note starts on E E D B A G. Okay, that's why I, I normally teach people of E D B A G rather than E double D A G. Um, but uh, E D B A G. So this one would be E. And then if I was to play on if I was to play on the D So that's why it's E D, E D B A G. So this is the D string. So it starts. And now, if I was to slide it, I mean not slide it. If I was to just play this one, this is the the B string. It connects. So E, the E, um, the E string, which is the top and the bottom string, they link to the D, the D string, and from the D string. It links to the B string, and the B string lead, links to the A string, and the A string leads to the G string. So this is D string, and then the D the D string goes to the uh, E D B A G. It goes to the B string. Oh no, this is B string. So it goes to the A string. See, this is B. Goes to the A string. The A string goes to the G string. So then the G string would be there you go. So E D B A G. That's how you you learn lead guitaring for me anyway. Uh, basically the 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 way I do it. Is first I would uh, I'll put I'll put the radio on, I'll put the radio on to listen to music, right, and then, um, I would I would find the root, I would find the root where where it sounds right. Once I got the root, I play with the song. I play the scales. I I, I play the scales on the five. Uh, the E D B A G. I just play the scales on E. With a song, as the song is playing on the radio, with the the root note, I I just keep doing the scales. And then if I get bored, I just slide into uh from to a different uh, uh, a different a different one. So this is the E. And then I slide to the D, to the B, to the A, to the G. And I just keep playing the scales over and over and I mix it up. I, I just shift to the, the E, the D, the B, the A, the G. I just keep shifting to all those things. And uh you and you know you try and get the fingerings. It doesn't matter what fingering you use. Basically, one finger uh, uh, for the first for the four frets. You have four frets, so you have one finger on each fret, basically. If sometimes you have to make a decision which finger you have to pick. But um, like when you slide over, you have to decide which finger goes where. Yeah. <laughs> 
<clears throat> so <clears throat> going back to this um, if you buy a guitar get one with a cut away you know like the bottom the bottom half at the fretboard is cut away because you see I my guitar doesn't have that cut away so my the, the wood is blocking my fingers from playing the the higher frets so always try and get a cut away even though it costs ten dollars more or twenty dollars more you it's worth it so that you can play up here right you need to cut you need to buy a guitar that has a cut away you don't know what brand of guitar to buy just buy a yamaha for classical for acoustic guitars uh, yeah, for the I, I don't play acoustic, but for the acoustic guitars, it's up to you what brand you want to buy. But for classical, cl uh, Yamaha is the cheapest and the best. And also with Yamaha guitars, you can do baritone tuning, which is the, what I'm using, <coughs> which sounds like B, E, A, D, G flat B. The reason why I use baritone tuning, uh, as I said earlier, is because I want to, my strings to have less tension so that they can last me forever and they've lasted me for over five years and the second is you get a nice bass sound but i can tell you even though i have this bass on my my six string guitar you know what uh davy 544 would say the strings of the guitar are weak they are thin. They will. You might be that you. You'll be afraid that it will break. You know what I mean? They're so weak that they they might even break. You know what I mean? So maybe if you want to learn bass, you might just get a, a either an electric bass or you get one that is a box guitar, which is which is a bass guitar. You know, with um, you know thick, thick strings to play bass, because. Even though I have the baritone tuning here, I hardly play bass on it. Because maybe it's not low enough. Even though I've made it as low as I can go, five notes down is probably the limit to how low you can tune a, a, a classical guitar. You know, because if you tune it any lower, the string will get slack. You know, so this is as good as it gets for bass. But I hardly practice bass because because you can't do a lot of the techniques like you know you, you, you just don't have the space the strings are too close together to do it I mean I can do basic bass but it won't be like playing a real bass that you buy So basically, um, I taught you a few things. First, with a guitar, you can either do strumming. Second, you can do lead guitaring. Right? Then the next thing you can do is plucking, which is a basic, basic plucking like... like have a bass 
and you have a treble. Basically, um, the the book that I, I I was talking about, pop rock. You know, Pop Rock Volume 1, and there's also Pop Rock Volume 2. Those ones I start out, those were the, the first books that I start out with. I mean, Pop Rock Volume 1. Uh, that, that would be the the best book to learn. Well, the the only book that I know that I, that I bought, anyway, to learn this, the plucking. There's also classical guitar, like, you know, Jang Hyun, a Korean... Uh, guitarist but uh, I can't teach you that because that's way advanced you have to be able to read sheet music and sheet music reading sheet music while you're young is important um, because then you can play a whole repertoire of so many songs but if you're like me and you 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 just you know when you read sheet music you just get dizzy not dizzy you just takes so long to, 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 to do it, then you have no choice but to just do chords like me. La. Well, I got as far as I could, right? I mean, you heard all my takes of Palim Susset. I wish one of them was really good so I could, you know, make it to a cover. But this is the process that I go through anyway. I got the chords and I try and do my own style on it. Okay, one more for the road lah, and then I'll, I'll I'll cut the video and 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 um I'll start doing the the tablature. I mean maybe I can just write out the tablature quickly and and just post it, and then if I need to change anything, I'll edit it later. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, one more for the road. This is um, Palem Saset, my version of it.
Thank you, and this is Floppy signing out.